Springtime in Florida means sun and fun outdoors, but it also comes with a warning to about children touching a certain caterpillar. West News' Dave McDaniel explains why it's best not to touch these particular caterpillars and what to do if it happens to you or your children. Exotic looking, even pretty, but it's look but don't touch the white marked tussock moth caterpillar. We have in the past seen outbreaks where people get concerned naturally because, oh, all these children have a rash thinking it could be something contagious. When it comes down to it, it actually is just related to those caterpillars. Kids playing outside may encounter the caterpillars this time of year around trees and outdoor playground equipment. Seminole County Schools share the Department of Health precaution with parents. Keep an eye out for them when they're out like at playgrounds, at the school playground, um, just anywhere they're outdoors. So say you unintentionally touch one of these caterpillars and you get some barbs in your skin, it could actually sting. So you put this sticky piece of tape over the top, get it nice and tight, then you give it a rip, hopefully the barbs will come out. Uh, in order to um, stop the rash from occurring and stop the stinging, you have to remove the hairs from the caterpillar from your skin. Here are other tips. Don't remove the caterpillar with your bare hands and then use the tape to pull spines out of your skin. Wash with soap and water, use ice to reduce the sting and a baking soda paste to reduce the itch. Once they get into the skin, they can cause irritation and even an allergic reaction that can cause a rash. Even the cocoon as they transition can cause a rash. So for both caterpillar and cocoon, just don't touch it, let it be. A hands-off approach, literally. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.